All right, all right, all right. I hope you guys are ready for another awesome podcast coming up right now. It is your boy Just Meta, and we are back at it again on this fine Sunday afternoon. I hope my mic is sounding right. You guys let me know in the chat how we sounding. Make sure you guys give it up. We have another special guest today on the FGC podcast. Let me switch the screen. Sounding clean. Sounds good. Sounds good. Uh, let me undeafen. Hello, hello, hello. How are hello, you guys? Hello. All right. Hey, so we up? got we got Pana Rotten here as usual. Rich homie Pana Rotten, the forever co-host. How are you doing today, Pont? How's your Sunday going? I'm doing all right. Made a big ass pot of bolognese sauce so i've been hey. having that for dinner for like the next coming days how are nice. so you otherwise good? well what are you having it with spaghetti pot uh, any just general pasta, pasta? Uh, just normal pasta really and then i put in some of that hot sauce that vermeer suggested to me so there you go see that's what, what i'm talking happen. about down the line when it gets more stuff to spicy eat up and go through spicy poops spicy, spicy spicy poops, spicy poops. <laughs> spicy poops. <laughs> no spicy poops that's I what know. i said <laughs> I was gonna, I thought you were gonna suggest more like explosive toilet breaks, but that works too. <laughs> he's gonna be at his new job. He's gonna be like, um, sir, I gotta go. <laughs> it's gonna be hilarious. Oh my god. Anyway, on this Sunday, we got a we got another special guest. You guys all know him. He's uh in my opinion, one of the best Johnnies in A in plus R. You know, he's been playing some Strive as well, you know, working his way up there. And I do believe he commentated for Evo. We got Rich Homie FGC Stone in the building. Give it up. Yeah. Oh, my God. Hey, what's up, guys? <laughs> what's up? Stone, how are you doing? How's your Sunday? You already told us, but you could tell them, you know, oh, how yeah. your Sunday I, was. I just woke up and I'm like, ah, oh, crap, I had to get ready for this podcast. <laughs> so. <laughs> Yo, you got a Mad Cats? You got a Mad Cats T? Is that a like an OG one or? Yeah, it's the um. This one is the Persona Two one that was uh released. Like I think this was their one of the last ones that it released before. You oh, know, like they shut it up. Yeah. Man, I I have wanted one of those for so long now, and there was a guy in France who was selling all his Mad Cats T twos for like fifty bucks. And yeah. then when I went to go buy it, they went, they all went offline. Like the whole, the whole oh, thing went offline off of eBay. And I hit him up and I was like, what happened to the listings? And he said, oh, I found out how much these are worth. Oh, so, <laughs> and I was like, God, yeah. I was like, damn it. Too late. Yeah, worst, actually, uh, worst case. It's funny. Cause I found a, a 360 Mad Cats TE. Someone's getting rid of it for $40 US. Ooh. and um i was like yo i want that shit and uh right. this guy's like i got two other guys asking me hitting me up to get it tomorrow i'm like i'll get it tonight <laughs> i'll drive hour. out there right now and then, uh yeah and he's like all right you got it I'm like, okay, <coughs> cool you know that's cool mm. that's, that's nice. indication if you huh. ask me all right so cool here man so today we're gonna ask uh rich homie stone some questions and then we're going to play him in Strive in the first of three. And, you know, I know Pont doesn't like Strive too much. He prefers plus R. But <laughs> I am so out of practice in plus R. You know, the last time I played Stone in plus R, he only ever plays me when I'm new at games. The last time I played Stone was when I was absolutely new at plus R. And I'm practically new at plus R now. I haven't played plus R in like three months. <laughs> so it, it'll be the same. I'm going to get washed. So I was like. I want to have at least some chance. Let me play him at Strive, at least. Then I'll <laughs> then then I'll have a semblance of 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 opportunity. Oh, for sure. For sure. <laughs> and uh, I I haven't really played Strive too much, so I think the, it's the uh, the perfect balance. Like it might be it might be interesting. See. Yeah, no. See, you're 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 like a super good player. Like you're one of those type players that'll just pick up any game and be like, "Oh, so this is how it works." Blah, 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 you know. <laughs> so yeah, I'm probably still gonna get wash, but it's not gonna be a complete wash like it would be in plus R. You know. Yeah, for sure, for sure. <laughs> you know. Uh, so Pond, you said you had a couple of questions already yeah, prepared. We, kinda, we already had. We started a conversation on that right now. So some you had a really nice horror type. Of, you had a really nice Mad Cats, and you had a really cool story to go with it. So we can actually continue on with that. Is there any other types of sticks or controller that you have as well, or used to have? Mm -hmm. As well. Uh well, okay. So I actually have um I actually have uh real arcade pros uh mm. which um 
it was uh, the first uh, run of arcade sticks that Hori ran uh, ages ago. Mm-hmm. But the uh, they they kind of went bad eventually. Like uh, after a while, PCBs or like oh, whatever. Maybe I dropped in too much. To, they went bad. Um, <laughs> Quote been unquote, a long dropped time it. I used them. Uh, I can probably pull those up. But uh, I changed the front. I used them at Evo. I think um, around the time that Marvel Three was new, so 2011 was the last time I used them. Ooh. Uh, so I had those, and I have like a ton of sticks laying around somewhere. Like I have some downstairs. <laughs> um, the 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 street the 360 TV I have right here. Hey. This is the one I use right now because uh, something happened to this PCB uh, right, like right. sometime right when the pandemic hit. Oh yeah. And uh, I haven't been able to use it like to play since, and that sucks. Um, Maybe the corona hit your stick as well. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's, it's not a biometric <laughs> thing. It's just actually your logical unit, circuit unit as well. That just breaks down. Yeah, <laughs> it's pretty bad. And like, um, because of that, uh, I couldn't. Um, let's see. Uh, I couldn't. I couldn't play anything unless I played on PC. Which you know, uh, luckily, uh, Plus R like works with a ton of um, ton of sticks. Like just PC stuff in general. So yeah. I'm just like, all right, I guess I'm. Playing. I mean, I mean, is that a problem though? Like, <laughs> I mean, that, 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 that before I was yeah, play, before I think, yeah, playing out yeah. locals I mean, I'm and stuff. Pretty sure Grand Blue was uh was kind of new, so it was like I was playing that, and in the middle of playing that, I noticed like a row of uh um a row of buttons um, didn't work. And I was like, okay, so I'm going to send you pictures of my uh, HRAP sticks mm-hmm. when um, I still have the plates, but I, I, uh, I don't use those anymore. If you want to, you want to throw that on stream. Oh, that's cool. Um, Hold on. Let me see if I yeah. can find a way to show it. Hold on. <clears throat> Display capture is off. Hold on. I'm going to, I'm going to show it one second, guys. There we go. Yeah, I had the buttons like that. <laughs> and that was pretty All right, so we got the display capture here. You guys can see my Discord. You guys can see one of the images down below, and then right here, another one. Is that a grinder in the back? Say, like, no, I'm capping. Um, <laughs> there, over here. Oh, no, 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 I was joking oh, in the probably. picture. No, it was a joke. <laughs> but yeah, so um, my, my question is going to be, First off, where are you from? Like, where do you live in the world? You don't have to give an address, uh, okay. you know. Yeah, but so like, <laughs> most people they they know um they know me and mentioning that I live in Houston, Texas. Uh, Why does I, everyone I live in Houston, bro? I swear to God. Been five <laughs> cities in the U.S. Last time I checked. I There's so many changed. people in the Discord who are from Houston or live in Houston. It's it's ridiculous. <laughs> Literally, yeah. There's a lot of people, a lot, and I'm yeah. I'm not. That's not even an exaggeration. It's like so many people from Houston. Mm-hmm. Okay, well, I guess I should hit them up sometime then. Yeah, um, I'm telling you. <laughs> but uh, so so I lived in Houston, but I only moved out here um 11 years ago, I believe. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, I lived in Louisiana most of my life. Uh, I used to live in uh, around the New Orleans area. Mm-hmm. Uh, my parents still live out there, so uh, New Orleans. I still need to, I still visit them now and then. Um, mm-hmm. I was born in California, uh, mm-hmm. San Diego, but I was only there for two years when I was mm-hmm. after I was born. So I, you don't even count that, really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. All right. So but, what yeah. got what what got you into fighting games? How did all of that, you know, collide to make a fighting oh, okay. game player? You know, um, let's see. I think when I was five or six, that's when the Street Fighter 2 craze happened. So, yep. uh, yeah, I saw the I saw the cool kids trying to trying to play it a lot, and you know, got into it that way. Um, and then uh, I had you know, I, I would have friends that would play it. You know, the Super Nintendo, all that stuff. Um, and uh, I just kept going with the genre. Like it was interesting being able to play uh impose your will on the opponent stuff like that i mean mm-hmm. you know i didn't know any better when i was like that young i don't i don't think i really understood fighters until like i was like close like late high school close to college like 18 oh. 19 years mm. old. yeah yeah but, so uh, you've kind of been basically like a like casual or just like gamer yeah, you just yeah. played well, it I, yeah i think <laughs> i i understood at a general level uh for uh for fighters um 
it was uh like because i i could do combos sometimes and i would be able mm-hmm. to do moves that were hard like 360s or whatever like mm-hmm. in you know back in the day 360s are yeah especially on a t-pad yeah or double course circles or whatever but i was mm-hmm. able to do some and i'm like okay cool i think i get it but you know i didn't understand that the world wide web wasn't around until like you know in my teens yeah to, to be able to be exposed to that high level play mm-hmm. um or like information or anything like that till i was well into my uh, young adulthood i guess mm-hmm. so when did you make the switch from casual gamer to more competitively minded gamer you know you said it was like okay. around high school but like what prompted that you know? oh well um you know like once uh once everyone got um uh, access to the internet and then like uh, message boards became a thing you know um, everyone knows uh, sure you cannot come yep um, oh, yeah. yeah so uh, it was a little rough you know people just kind of yelling into the void uh, people calling <laughs> each other scrubs you're dumb you don't know what you're talking about I mean, sounds like discord now, but... yeah <laughs> sounds oh, like boy. discord and twitter now, right like, now it's on, a, it's on a forum board so like random people can come in and get like the right or the wrong info or whatever but um there yeah. was that the front page would um like occasionally release info like oh well uh there's tournaments going on in these areas or like um yeah they'll have like message boards for letting people meet up it was kind of it was still a little um a little rough like some people might not try to meet up with you or they're like oh well we go to this thing like once a month or whatever like okay cool um, but yeah, anyway, like, uh, it was me and, um, uh, we had, a. Uh, I don't know if you know the player Ranma Sama, he's pretty popular in Marvel circles. I've heard of him, uh, yeah. And his younger brother, um, we used to grow up and play fighting games a lot, and, um, and, uh, like, I think he got it, they got into it, too, mm-hmm. but, uh, once we were playing, I think it was CBS 1, and, uh, I was doing, like, I would, I would, we, we would just play casual like usual, and I was, I was always like, um, well, I'm gonna try to hit with like heavy, heavy punch or you or something like that. It's like, well, <laughs> you're more likely to hit with shorts, and I'm like, oh, mind blow. So, oh. um, yeah, I'm like, oh, that makes too much sense. So, uh, <laughs> so once, once I started thinking about that, um, and then I started looking more into the games in general. Uh, that's when I think I started going to like high level play thingy i wasn't completely there yet i was definitely still scrubby mentally mm-hmm. but um it was the start I'm it was the sure. beginning it oh, was yeah. the it yeah. was the spark that lit it basically yeah yeah uh pod do you have a next question Young i think pod? that was a good way to present it into it especially when you go in hard on that it was very fascinating how it just clicks for you but along with fighting games, are there any other different games that you enjoy playing in other genres besides fighting games? Mm, that's a good question. Uh, I can't really hit a particular one. Like I'll I'll play I play popular games uh, generally. You know, Metal Gear, Devil May Cry, mm-hmm. um, <clears throat> random stuff, obscure stuff every once in a while, like uh, like Killer is Dead. You know, stuff like that. Oh yeah. Um, oh, yeah. Uh, let me see what. I yeah, Pawn Pawn here through. is the king of obscure games. He literally plays everything. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> I'm not even uh, kidding. He, so. he he's always recommending like a new game to us, and we're like, "Wait, what is this? I've never heard of this." And Pawn's like, "Yeah, you should play it. It's it's awesome." <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I I'm also like kind of small into visual novels, so I don't know if you really want to call them games. You know, Phoenix Wright is considered a visual novel. Oh, yeah. Um, would, but, you know, yeah. Tsukihime that Melty Blood's based off of mm. uh, was really huge, and that kicked off, like, that company's, uh, like, ascent to, like, big multi-corporate, multi- Whoa, oh. what Uh-oh. happened? Uh-oh. <laughs> we lost him. <laughs> there we go. We're back. We, lo- we lost him, bro. Oh, uh, he's back. Don't worry. All right, Stone's back. Stone's back. Kim Masters oh. is a Suda fan. Yeah, he's a Sukahimi fan, bro. We, you know, we, I don't know if you were there, but we just watched the whole Sukahime lore uh, on stream yesterday. Um, oh, yeah. Melty has drip has a new meaning for me now. 
<laughs> not, I think we can talk about it right now, but I can agree also. It becomes this very tricky thing where you can, like, where can we put visual novel? Electronic entertainment, can we view it as a game? Uh, basically, is there a fail state? Because if there is, then technically it's a game. So I can, I can, I can stand with you on that, that visual novel could be viewed as a game, really. Yeah, it's it's very it's very tricky. Like it's mm -hmm. it's like very close to just book and game, you know. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Um but uh yeah, I mean just uh you know, if if something something like random comes up, you know, I'll talk about it if I know about the game in particular. But um oh, yeah. uh I can't I can't like hard recommend like something. Uh, RPGs, you know, obviously were like kind of a big thing before. Yeah. Like, yeah. Free time and like parents just paid for everything. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. We, um, we all remember those days. It's one yeah, of those. Yeah. I mean, stuff. I, my my uh, roommates were actually going through my uh my game list, like my physical game list, and they're like, "Why do you have all these SMT, like all these Shin Megami Tensei games?" And you know, this probably cost like <laughs> almost two grand, right? I'm like, "Yeah, I guess so." And I I've only finished one of those games. Oh damn! It was a yeah, man, SMT those... four. So like... you, so oh. so would you say your your total like gaming time is like eighty twenty like eighty fighting games twenty what everything else? Uh, like like how how would you say like out of your total gaming time as an adult? 95, 95, 96 ga uh, fighting games. Wow. And else. That's crazy! <laughs> wow. Yeah, yeah. That's, That's a very good dedication. Yeah, I mean like. Cause, cause with the other games, you just yeah. like you play it once, you're done, right? But oh, fighting yeah. games, you just like you just like, keep as, playing. As long it, as yeah. the game's active, you can play forever. So eventually, you just keep the most known thing that you say is okay. Run it back, over and over. It's just run it back. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. And all yeah. that, and that's pretty cool to hear that from your point of view. Actually, that you also go a little bit more with the story related stuff, and as well as Steam Megami Tensei as well. Uh, mm -hmm. We can actually talk a little bit about Strive at the moment. This one might be a loaded mm -hmm. question. Uh, currently, with the new common games like the new Melty Blood, the Nickelodeon All Stars Brawls, yeah. King, the next King of Fighters, along with Strive, do you think that the fighting game genre is about to gain a bigger audience because of these releases? Or um, to be honest with you, I think the audience is already pretty big. You know, like post uh, post Street Fighter Four and. Um, it's been gradually growing ever since. I don't think there's going to be another big explosion of people coming into these games. It's just like, now they have a ton of different food to eat, to be honest with you. Yeah. Um, they like, especially after the whole Street Fighter V, like, uh, like the, the first launch botched a bit until mm -hmm. they moved it into being like a competent product. Um, everyone branched out, you know, Tekken and Mortal Kombat and, uh, you know, like Guilty Gear, all these games. Like everyone's trying games now. I think, which that's is cool. super cool. Like Absolutely. before, it was just Japan because, like, that's like their shit anyway. They're gonna play it regardless. But now, like, people are trying out new games. They chase the new game. They leave. They go to the next game. Oh yeah. <laughs> it gets built on on balls on top of it. A small follow-up yeah. question then. Since you're very optimistic, do you believe there can be like these small variables that can mostly make it even bigger? Than it already mm. is. So do you think like ah, there's we can't do so much right now. Or mm -hmm. uh, so I don't think uh, I don't think we're gonna get anything like we. I don't think we're gonna get too much growth after um after like you know whenever a new game because Strive Strive was really good because I think a lot of people got into it. Like uh, I keep seeing like oh this is my first fighting game. I I uh, can understand this game. I you know like it's slow. I never played Guilty Gear before, and uh, you have people from other games uh, coming in. They're like, "Yeah, I'm gonna beat you, like Punk or something." <coughs> um, although that one's not fair. He's he's played multiple games before, but yeah. uh, <laughs> you know, like like people coming from other other uh, games that aren't Arc System Work games and uh, coming to play Strive, which I think is really good. I don't think the new games will do anything like that. Nickelodeon All Stars will probably get the Smash crowd. Um, Finally, and, like, to a game in a developer that will respect them, maybe, yeah, you know. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, those guys, those guys know what they're doing. Like, uh, the the previous game they did, I heard was Slap City. I always mm. only heard good things about it. Um, but uh, but no, the next big jump will be the League Fighter, which probably won't be due for another two years, yeah, at least. Oh yeah, I, be I believe that. 
I mean, I, 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 I've told people, I said, if they go the free to play route and they do what they did with like Valorant with the huge like Twitch push and all that stuff, that, that game could arguably become like the Fortnite of fighting games in a way where oh, yeah. it just Not blows everyone, it up any, through anyone, the roof. Yeah, if anyone, uh, anyone thinks otherwise, uh, they're, they're full of themselves. I'm pretty sure everyone's, everyone's looking forward to that as like the, the biggest thing. And then like, you have the guys that invented rollback net code for fighting games, like mm-hmm. working on the game. Like we already know it's gonna have good net code, so that's not right. even the question. The question is, is the game gonna be enjoyable? And uh, like, I mean, I know the IP is gonna carry it a lot, and mm-hmm. you're gonna have to be playing it. But is the game gonna be fun? Um, and uh, you know, is it gonna have good? Fighting? Well, my my biggest concern is, is it gonna have good fighting game mechanics, or is it gonna be Mortal Kombat eyes or Strive eyes? <laughs> Where it's made primarily oh. for casuals and people who want to be competitive it's... just gotta suck it up and get good. Well, you know? I, mean, I have some faith in them. I mean, like, have you have you seen the game that they made before this one, uh, Rising Thunder? Yeah, yeah, I've oh, seen yeah. I've seen Rising Thunder. Yeah. Um, what do you think about that game? I mean, that, I thought I it was it's good. Like, it's like it, it reminds me. It's like the Fantasy Strike style, where it's like simple, but there's a lot of depth in the reads and the the choices that you have to make, which I'm totally cool with that style as well. You know, yeah, I just I just I, don't I want like the I I just don't want the Mortal Kombat style where it's like casuals like to jump so you don't get to anti air, you know. <laughs> <laughs> for sure, for sure. Um, yeah, I think it's gonna be. Most people think it's gonna be close to that style, but then we saw like what like thirty seconds of gameplay with different characters from that last video from last year. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And uh, there was some movement from what I saw, like dashing in. Um, I think I saw an air dash from Jinx or something, and. Like, um, like at the very least, the character roster would be varied. But yeah, I don't know how it's gonna play until we get our hands on it. So, we'll absolutely, have to see. absolutely. And I think that it was also a good game to talk a little about as well, because Rising Thunder was an interesting game when you saw it. Like actual gameplay and the music as well was amazing. And I think they also aimed for the whole you can use the special ability button to do the specific special ability without needing to do the directional input. But you get rewarded for doing the directional input and doing that way as well. So yeah, yeah. It, might, it might be that how they will actually be going forward with the League of Legends fighting game. So yeah, I I heard uh I heard the because Grand Blue Fantasy took that same uh the same notes that that they because they they visited the studio like Riot mm-hmm. Studios before they were doing Grand Blue Fantasy. So we we think that that had a big influence on that game actually. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Super cool. It was cool to see that sort of stuff. We'll see how it goes with that uh, dungeon fighter fighting game that they're working on right now. Oh yeah, well. yeah. I'm super excited for it because uh, the company behind that, Aiding, was the last people that made uh, Marvel Three. Mm. So oh, really, yeah, Aiding, oh. Aiding is the company that made Marvel Three, and like. So maybe I should be more hyped for that. Ga- I should probably be more hyped for this game then. <laughs> yeah, okay. I mean, I'm looking. I have to see how much they're doing. Uh, on the game, I think Arxis is just doing the graphics, and the eighties is probably doing like the gameplay stuff. Mm-hmm. So that game might be the hilarious type of jank, which may be good or bad. We'll see. <laughs> but, uh, Only one game, can find I don't out. Know if you played, if you played Dungeon Fighter or like seen videos of the game, but uh, like that game has like super stylish characters and like crazy combos in that game. Oh, yeah. And then the trailer looked like there was like a. Um, from what people were looking at, um, like cancels and stuff. So it might be, it might be a very deep, like maybe really bust the game. We won't see updates forever afterwards, but you know, we'll we'll see, we'll see. I'm more excited for that because the the potential is there, but you know, we don't really know because it's probably not going to be supported for a super long unless uh, unless it sells um, crazy. It might end up crazy. becoming that fighting game that people keep coming back to over and over again, and then Arcs will yeah. be like, well, we can't do anything. We would love to, yeah. but we can't. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. So yeah, it's a tricky situation. Since before we are about to, we will go into a fight scene real quick. Uh, I was going to ask you this: Is Smash Jump Brothers something interesting to you? Since we've had recently a Nintendo Direct not so long ago. Ah, uh, that's right. That's right. Yeah, I, I, I was, I was trying to watch it to see if they reveal the character, but Tokyo Game Show is going on, and most people were expecting that to be the announcement for the mm-hmm. character. So, oh, yeah. um, and they moved it to October, I mean, October 5th is the date that they're yeah. announcing the character. Exactly. Uh, I'm, I want to see who they put in. It's the last one. We all know it's going to be the last one. So either it's going to be 
super hype or it's gonna be a dud, right? <laughs> um, <laughs> um, but I really don't know. I mean, you've seen all the other character picks. I have no freaking clue who it's gonna be. I, it could be. I mean, it could be Goku, like everyone talks about. <laughs> I mean, it actually could be it's, though. Like you're joking, uh, no, it's, but <laughs> there's no way. There's no way. Like, nah, I mean, like it's not. He's not video game related. He just has. I like, mean, he had. He has a video game, bro. He has a lot I mean, of. <laughs> Yeah. He yes. has. I mean, he's in a fighting game. And he's fun in his fighting game. Just put GT yeah, Goku yeah. and Smash, bro. Easy. I know, <laughs> <laughs> we'll have to wait and see what happens. No, no, yeah, yeah. I'm, 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 wait, I'm the wait and see crowd. Like, I don't like. I expect him to pick some obscure game that only he cares about, and like, yeah, he's he's gonna throw it in there. And I care. Like, I might me and like maybe two other people will know the game, and everyone's gonna be like, "Why is it this character?" My <laughs> season pass is ruined. You know, I mean, it could also be the same people that saw Terry and also Kasuya. It's just like, who's this guy? A, a, yeah. a character from not a fighting game, but I don't play those. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. I, I was super surprised when they put Kazuya actually. I, I thought really we were already good. going super saturated fighting game characters, but um, Bandai Namco is like part of the staff too. So, um, and he recreated him pretty well from what I've seen. So that's cool. Um, I got Terry though, so I'm good. That's <laughs> absolutely awesome uh there is one more question i have there did you have a question just um i just wanted to ask what are your all-time favorite fighting games not just like gg or whatever but like out of all the fighting games you play which ones do you like the most like what, what are the games that you really fuck with you mean from okay. any era as many games as you want there's okay. no limit so we'll, we'll go we'll go the easy ones um <laughs> Guild Gear, Guild Gear is the series that I grew up as a tournament player mm -hmm. uh, from 2003, I think, because when XX, XX came out in the States, mm -hmm. and I actually traveled for it. Uh, my first tournament was in, I think, Houston, Texas, for one of the Texas showdowns. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it was three, and I think I got 13th that tournament that year. Oh, no, it was, I think it was five when I did well. Uh, and uh, I traveled a lot for it at a time where it was like we would, you know, it was pre YouTube and um, and uh, it was hard to get around. Like you had to drive or fly or something to play. Yeah. And you want to only play with people out of state like once every few months. Mm -hmm. So I have, I have a lot of uh, a lot of memories with that series in general and a lot of people I met that back then. Um, there's that series, um, and then Marvel 3, I competed in the last decade, mm -hmm. um, when that was due, and that was super exciting, uh, and I got, I think, um, in Texas, I was, uh, getting top three or winning, uh, along with Jan, uh, and, um, some of the other guys here. Wait, Easter, the Vermont. same Jan that's playing, uh, yes. Potemkin and Shrive? That Jan? Yes, yes. He's been, Ooh. he's been a strong player in everything, and, like, Oh, wow. Yeah, Jan. Yeah, um, I've been I've been telling people about Jan, man. I'm like, yo, y'all need to y'all need to put some respect on this man, Jan. I knew he played other games back in the day, but I really started following him in Strive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, I, <laughs> it was funny because like uh, he wasn't sure if he was gonna like the game or not, and he would get scrubbed out in Marvel Three, and he would hate. <laughs> he would be he would hate love the game. Like he'd like yeah. He'd be so upset at whatever he lost to, and he keep playing. Um. Kind of like me and, and Mortal uh, Kombat, right? Game, like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I feel you. I feel you. I'm sorry about that. Um, no, it's all good. But yeah, I uh, I grew up with that. Oh, well, I I watched that scene build up from nothing and everyone trying to figure out stuff to like honing like a uh, high level play in between that, and that was a super exciting time for me. Mm -hmm. Um, especially after like, oh, this game's not getting any more updates, and then like. Um, you know, other than Ultimate, and uh, that that uh, that was really fast too. Like within eight months, we got the update with like new characters and rebalance and all this stuff, new moves, and um, mm -hmm. and uh, that made it more exciting because like at at the end of Vanilla, um, the game got stale in my opinion with the way the the meta was building, and then Ultimate like they added uh when they when they changed a bunch of stuff around uh. I think uh, what they added was super interesting and, um, you know, it's super dynamic. But, you know, it's not for everyone because everyone, like, people get super tilted losing a character. Like, mm -hmm. yo, I didn't get to oh, play. Yeah. Like, uh, yeah. <laughs> Wait, so when do I get to, so when is it my turn? Yeah, yeah for real. <laughs> so it's, 
you know, um, it was definitely built different, but mm -hmm. a lot of people were playing and learning stuff, and there was always, you know, it's even now, it's super exciting to watch, just you, even if you don't know what's going on, it's super fun. Uh, other fighting games, hmm. Uh, well, <laughs> <laughs> this is so, a GG uh, Marvel here, yeah, boys. It goes back to like the old thing that was the old question, yeah, like other I mean, games in different genres. It becomes like it will eventually click eventually, but we did get yeah. a few things out of you, like Marvel Free, for instance. So that was a cool thing to hear about. It's also see awesome uh, to see like what other things you were interested in. We talked a little bit yeah. about Melty, right? Before, mm, I, did we talk about Melty? Uh, behind the scenes. Oh, yes, behind, behind the scenes, y'all talked about Melty. All right, <laughs> yeah. okay. We we talked about it. Now. Oh yeah. So That's that was something that we can actually go. Oh, we 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 lost them. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. We lost yeah. them. I, I think I think Discord updated while uh, <laughs> oh. we were talking or something. Oh really? That was yeah. quick. Uh, but like what, since we're talking like really quick about Melty, uh, is what kind of character are do you actually play in that game when you actually do put some um, time into it? Yeah, yeah. So um, I uh, I played Chiki Nani uh, pretty much most of the game's lifespan. Um, I didn't really have an interest in the other characters uh, for the longest, really. Um, but um, but after like however long that series is, it's, it's like. 17, 18 years of Melty, like yeah. kind of tired. I want to try. I think I'll try someone new. Plus, plus he that particular version of the character is not in um Type Lumina, so uh, yeah. um uh I I don't know. I'm looking at like maybe half the cast and kind of tone it down whenever the game's new, like whenever it comes out, because I don't know who I want to commit to yet. Mm -hmm. So uh um I think right now I'm looking at uh Blob, Miyako, uh Maybe Noel. Um, Noel looks really and, interesting uh, to me as well. And uh, Steel, yeah. I, mm -hmm. there, there was, I had a list, but I can't remember them offhand. I'm just, I'm just gonna <laughs> end right, up right. playing like just messing with them for the first hour or so before I commit to something. Mm -hmm. So you know, you said that you know coming up with the tech, building, you know, the scene and all that stuff is super fun with you. How did you uh, cope during COVID? Because I know you've done a few of my tournaments, but how did you cope with, you know, being disconnected? Because, you know, me personally, I'm already antisocial as fuck. Like, I was already always in the house. Like, I, I you know, so COVID, when it hit, it didn't do anything to me, you know. But, but how did it affect you? Because you're used to, like, going out to tournaments. You're used to, like, going out, socializing, all that jazz, you know? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, um... <laughs> I think right before COVID hit, uh, Samurai Showdown was new. Um, the Samurai Showdown 7. Um, mm -hmm. And uh, I think it was a few months before. Yeah, because they had the Evo where um, uh, I couldn't make it because I didn't really have that much money. Um, and uh, before that, there was a tournament that uh, I don't know if you know. <laughs> I um, you, you, know, you guys know Shinken, so I actually played mm -hmm. it with the finals in, uh, in Sham Show before evo and uh i beat him in that um oh. and after that we both didn't play i don't i don't think any of us played it after that because um the that game is like a small burst type game where like there's only so much you can do in that game so mm -hmm. uh it's it's fun it's fun when you're trying to play with people but it's not like a labbing game mm -hmm. um but anyway well long story short online sucks and um that game that game died uh and then um and then uh grand blue came out right before COVID too and uh right before uh they shut down everything i think there was like maybe a week of tournaments for that game offline and um, <laughs> we didn't even get to that point here in houston we just like because it was like i think it was week one and then bam the shutdown for every everybody so i played that online a little bit um, I, I'm I'm a little bit of a fan of the mobile game. Uh, I I play it casually now, but mm -hmm. I was playing it heavy. I think I played it heavy during the pandemic because <laughs> yeah. Um, and I had friends that were doing it too, so it was like, well, we'll we'll just we'll just uh, progress together. Um, but uh, but yeah, then then during uh playing online, that's when this stick like tripped out, and uh, I can't oh, yeah. I couldn't use it. So I'm just like, well. I'm just gonna play a bunch of these stupid PlayStation Plus games that I've never played. Like, uh, I think I finished like, I think I finished 
Death Stranding, and I know a lot of people are kind of just like, why? <laughs> <laughs> um, why not? And, and a bunch of other games that I can't remember. That one stuck out because it was like, well, this is like COVID, but in a video game form. <laughs> <laughs> are, you, are you saying that Kojima predicted this? Possibly. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he, he predicted Y2K, right? Yeah, oh, Kojima yeah. got something to do with it, with all of it, man. I'm telling you. Yeah, He's behind crazy. everything. All right. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go. So uh, unless you have any more questions, Pod, I think it might be time for me to fight the server boss and boot up Shrive. Sure thing. Okay. I have sent over a new room idea for, for both of you that you can use. All right. Well, okay. I'm, cool. I'm, I'm going to boot up Shrive. It's going to take about a year, you know? That's unfortunate. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, I have it loaded up already. <laughs> While we're talking, it should have it took as long as we're talking. Yeah, yeah like, but see, talking. like, then it's gonna be playing music. Then I gotta mute it. It's too many extra steps. You know. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Why do I have to prepared. sign into Steam? What the fuck? Oh, yeah. No. Well, I mean, you have to get at least, right? For PC. Um. Oh no. Oh no. Uh, you, you don't use it to 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 connect the server. It's a, it's actually pretty convenient until they fix it because uh, I think they're. The, I use well, they're I use that. what what came before Tosageki. I use that oh, and okay. uh, oh, yeah. that like fucked up my rank progress. Like I got Celestial and then I like turned off the game and came back the next day and I was floor eight. You know, and then I had to, I had to do that grind all over again. And then so what oh, I did man. before I did that grind again is I uninstalled the 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 mod or whatever and then uh um... okay. i mean the other mod you just kind of you just kind of run it and then you run the game uh, uh okay it's a quick, it's a quick download you should just get it if you if you're playing strive often you should just get it yeah or... is my stream yeah. frozen the fuck i think my stream froze might be are we back we might be back i don't know seems like it might be an f we got we got an f yeah, we got it. We got F's in the chat. Uh, it seems like it's just a screen. I keep hearing us talking at least. You can hear us, but you can't see us. Yeah, okay, it's moving. Uh -huh. No, we go. Up oh, there, we go. We're moving. All right, we're back. We're back. Yeah, this is what happens when you launch Strive. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> one more initiative. One more reason why you should be prepared. Anyway, I'm gonna use my favorite fight stick. This is my Panthera. I have a few more fight sticks in the back, but this is my boy right here. This is my first ever fight stick. I ripped out all the razor parts, though. <laughs> really? I, I ripped out all the razor parts and put in a cheap Chinese um, stick, uh, PCB, oh, I mean. Nice. And it works. There's literally no delay on this thing. It's the, the PCB is called the Zero Delay PCB. And um, you can get it from anywhere. Like It's very available. But, um, but you know, there's, there's like no delay, but the catch is you can only use it on PC, you know, a little catch, so to say, yeah, you can't use it on, um, you can't use it on PlayStation or anything else unless you have like an adapter or something, you know, mm -hmm. did we lose stone? No, he's still uh, there. I'm, I'm, I'm oh, okay. 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 Seems like I'm. Seems yeah. like I'm the only one not in the lobby. Hmm. Well, Interesting. You know. hmm. <laughs> Curious. Why am I not in the lobby? Hmm. I don't know. Maybe the lobby. Maybe yeah. the maybe. You maybe... Have to hold the up, so you might want to take those off. <laughs> you say what? Oh, okay. No, I just saw the you're you're putting in the. Yeah, yeah. I'm changing the score. <laughs> Yeah, I'm changing it around. Hold on. I think I want to go first so that I can commentate afterwards. Oh, okay. Just meta and FGC Stone. GC Stoners. All right, there we go. Let me remove this match arena. We are not fighting for hundreds of dollars today. <laughs> At the moment. Not right now, anyway. But we do have the first to 10 series coming up. So <clears throat> that's also going to be interesting. I think you already said you wanted to be a part of it anyway. So, you know, we're going to be doing match arenas for each first to 10. You get ranks at the end of the season. Whoever has the highest rank in the game that they're playing uh, will get a special prize. You know, a very nice. special prize. 
could secret, be a gifted. Right? Yes, yeah, secret. Not gonna nope, is. nope, not gonna tell you. <laughs> it, it could be All a right. gifted game on Steam. It could be, uh, you know, like some merch or, you know, who who knows? But it's gonna be it's gonna be special. It's gonna be limited. Okay. Only the people of those seasons will will have it. You know, so yes, okay. then it comes to the question: Is this something you can sell on eBay for thousands of dollars? Uh, maybe if the stream gets more famous, and yeah. <laughs> uh, there's, there's your hint, chat. There's your hint. <laughs> it's limited edition. <laughs> anyway, I'm still communicating with server, bro. Imagine. So wait, you sent me two room IDs. Which one is it? 407 the one, or? The, the one, the latest one. Okay. All right. All right, let's go. Anyway, really? do you do anything besides video games? Do you have any other talents, Stone? Like, you know, um, I, I play music on the side. Do you do, like, music, drawing, coding, things like that? Uh, so, I uh, I mentioned this in my stories usually, but uh, uh, I do valet parking for a living, so mm -hmm. I can park a bunch of, I, I park a bunch of fancy cars every mm -hmm. once in a while. Yep. Usually a bunch of junk too but yeah I can, <laughs> um, most most cars that like people know about i've probably driven but that's about it i think uh i'm pretty dull i just play fighting games mm -hmm. play ninja, you know cool. hey that's good so, Sing, singular yeah. focus man see yeah. that's that's good anyway it's time to get washed server boss is almost complete i am in Let's okay, go. man. Last time I saw, last time I played you, uh, you had a pretty decent grasp of how to play. Bruh. I mean, that was like when you were, we were new too. But you, yeah. had, I think you had the bigger win count. Yeah, I'm. I'm <laughs> listen, I'm a wash celestial, bro. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm, 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 man. I'm, I'm back up there at all. I, I just, I don't care enough to play to get up there. You know, I love oh, yeah. Stride, but I, I can really give two shits about the rank system, like. I've, I've, I've literally played against people. I'm like, you're literally like a level 1000 floor 10 player. You just learned how to mash really, really hard. <laughs> and like my first Celestial match, I beat a, a level like 1500 chip and he was just mashing his ass off, bro. Hell and I fucking yeah. beat him three times in a row before he beat me once and then he left after he beat me, bro. I was like, I was like, yeah, fuck this, bro. I was like, yo, <laughs> fuck this, fuck this shit. This is why. <laughs> yeah, I was like, you're not even gonna run it back, bro. Like, that's fucking whack. I was like, that that's lame, bro. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> the curse of when it comes to ranked games, well, where people will say you're a rank 1000. That means means you're good, right? And then you realize. Enough. You know, I really like um, Street Fighter rank system. It feels more like you are the. Oh God! Oh God! We we just had. Oh God! And here we here we go. Go. You guys Make are about sure. to find out why I think this character's top one. If Stone plays him, you know the way I assume he's going to play him. <laughs> Probably not. We'll see what will happen. This character is dumb, bro. Holy shit! <laughs> And we're on the left side, we got Justy playing as Kai, on the right we got Stone going with Gold Lewis, applying a whole lot of pressure right now, it is to heat behemoth type Those are shimmers. There's a whole lot of pressure going in right now, Stone going a little bit more on the defense right now, but he keeps on relying on his good old Kaufman. Very good use of a Roman canceling there, nice overhead, dealing good about the dumb, bro. At the first <laughs> round right. point. Alright, alright, right, we got this. Good anti-air from Justin, keep the pressure going right now, tries to find an opening right now. Well, Stone managed to get some breathing space using the Typhoon right now. He decides to go with the heavy machine gun, gets hit by a counter, keeps knocking in the floor, but uses a person to get out of problem. Nice counter hit, keeping pressure right now, trying to find an opening. Nice sweep there from Justin, keeping some beefing room right now, and then shoves Stone into the corner himself. But it seems like a big switcheroo right now goes into it. Stone just keeps on with the pressure. Nice throw. Very good back and forth right now. Good sweeper. Not enough throw. Very nice. Red Roman cancel. Keeps with the pressure. Very good amount of damage to get a wall break. Positive tension inbound. Good cross up. That right cross up, bro. There. That cross up. Damn. 
first match point goes to Stone. Well done. All right, I got you. Run that shit back. <laughs> Is the download complete? You'll have to wait and see. Run that shit back, bro. Let's go. I'm right here, bro. We out so, here. Let's get to it. Very nice approaches right now. Just chafing his distance and being more defensive. But Stone tries to get a little bit of poking around here. Gets punished heavily from it. Uses the burst to get some breathing space. Gets hit with a counter hit. And the pressure goes on unless Stone decides to do a wake up grab. They keep up with the bullying himself. Nice sweep attack. Mm, nice. Very nice, bro. Good price right now, Cross. Slash. Very Bruh. nice damage right now. Roman cancel into it. Gills enough damage, but it sadly does not finish. The BP from Justin was a bit too risky, and that's the man did close slash on hit, bro. Good old approach right now, but the frame trap gets thrown into the corner. Gets a good setup right now from Stone. Keeps on with the damage going from it. Gets punished from the lack of grab. Nice protect from both of these players. Behemoth Typhoon and another Behemoth Typhoon for the meaties, but gets punished heavily for it. Now Justin keeps on with the bullying in the corner. Gets himself a wall break. And gives him positive attention. Stone keeps on with the pressure right now. Make sure to break the defense constantly with his behavior. Uh, should be game. Move. Nope, and never mind. He dropped it. A super that does a good amount of damage. It can be real close right now. Both of these players have both burst, Gary. Mm. Nice RC. Oh, and there it is. Nice RC. Very nice RC. Standing two to zero right now. Two still. <clears throat> and a nice approach overhead from Stone. Justin tries to find the right strikes. Very good first. Good setting up right now with Sacred Edge. Get surprises a little bit too many times from Stone right now. With the big guy that is Gold Lewis. Massive stare down, takes down both players as it goes. Nice opening, Roman cancel, sadly nothing from it. Good pressure, good damage. Good amount of corner pressure right now from Justin, but sadly he jumps out the way, giving Stone more breathing space. This can go any different routes right now. Stone is being a bit more cautious right now because he might actually lose a round if he's not taking the right steps. Justin tries to find the right moves to go in. Oh, very oh nice my play. god, bro! Very nice play. <laughs> Stone caught him. Just right. I really thought you were going to jump. Hmm. Good amount of damage right now. Very good amount of openings right now. Gold Lewis, dangerous behemoth typhoon right now. Good sweeping punish right there from Justin. Gold! Ah, first. Keeping a little bit of distance right now. Very good. good amount of stuff right now in the shipping damage on top of it. Yeah, this character's bottom three, guys. Bottom three character, by the way. Literally fucking punish me on hit. I hit him and he fucking hit me with a close slash immediately on hit. Okay, yeah, okay, sure. <laughs> yeah. I got counter hit for trying to Gatling. Just just saying. <laughs> Bruh. Yeah, this character fucking trash, right? Yeah. Yeah, this character's this character is terrible, guys. Mm. Man. <laughs> Jesus Christ. This character's fucking dumb, bro. Just swinging all over the place. Big yeah. dingling swinging all over the place. <laughs> Happy you Sunday, Shut. Uh, question, Stone. Does does Gold Lewis remind you a little bit of Cliff? Like, you know, obnoxiousness uh, I, I've wise? That, I've definitely had seen that, uh, that comparison. Um,
kind of. He doesn't he throw that much straight space. It's not the same, but yeah, he, he reminds me of Cliff in the way where he just controls space, you know? Yeah, it's, big, big, big damage, stuff like that, yeah. Yeah, exactly, yeah. All right, so we got Pawn to run. You know, I'm not even going to lie. I might want to run that back. This might be the first run back of the FGC podcast, bro. I think I want to run that back <laughs> after this. <laughs> All right, here we go. Right now, FGC Stone trying to get in. Pawn Rod doing a really good job. And zoning takes his burst away from him. And Pawn playing superb. Keep away game. How is Stone going to get in here? Afro is now a problem. RC, and that's going to be a fat counter hit. Pont right now playing supreme keep away. Nothing is going to stop Pont from claiming a win in the FGC podcast. Except for that jump dust. <laughs> All right, Pont trying to play keep away, and that's going to be an excellent teleport. Summons the homies. Homies came through. Let's go. Pont going to get negative penalty, but he doesn't care. He has the homies again. And even though Pont did get hit. That's gonna be a huge punish and burst taken, and this could be game. If he would have got that close slash, that would have actually been game. And he gets it with the unfuck winnable jump slash. Let's go. <laughs> I got one too. Yeah, Paul's like, hey, I got an unfuck winnable button. Try it. <laughs> All right, right now, Stone trying to play Nooch. Looking for a safe way to get in to steal the round away like you just did last round. Pawn just going ham with the items right now. Being a true false main. Reflecting on himself. Nice clash. Cancel cancels it into an item. But the homie is going to save Pawn from certain doom. And this man out here, Stone out here swinging, bro. Pawn said, yo, hold that love from Sweden. <laughs> Oh no, but the homies, how did you 6P that? Oh my god, that that might, oh, never mind, the homies save Pot again. Both of these guys literally swinging and Pot can just low profile the gun. No. That's going to be one for Stone to start us off the run back. Yeah, we might, we might have to. First ever run back. I might get 3-0'd again, but I'll feel better <laughs> about it. And that's and that's all that matters. <laughs> okay, no punish on the throw whiff there. Pawn is gonna get the item. And yes, he does, and the homies are out. Not a fair trade, however. Both of these guys trying to play the foozies with each other. Good 5k anti-air. Nice little guard break and pawn. Oh my god, that was a punish? Jesus Christ. You know, it's almost like I said that. Go Lewis kind of doesn't really have a problem getting in, you know? And once he's in, you just get chipped to death. Because I don't think Pawn has been hit this entire round. And look at his health bar. <laughs> That's all chip damage, guys. Oh, he tried to go for the grab. Good read by Stone. Lots of meter on both sides. Oh, nice. oh no. And good reactions into setup. It's almost like I labbed that setup day one and told you guys about it maybe that that could have happened oh my god that anti air jumped us bro false is privileged in this matchup holy shit air throw no no pawn decides to go for the combo into the overhead let's go let's go all right homies are out Good cross up. FGC Stone utilizing uh, Gold Lewis's cross up ability really well in these matchups. All right, swinging in the corner. Going to get hit by the bomb bag. Oh, 5K or 2K actually, anti air. And that's going to be a huge jump in counter hit. Oh, nice. He said, don't, don't approach low. Hold it. Still his turn. Still his turn. What did I say? Oof. Let's go, Lewis starts swinging. It's always his turn. Nice anti air. There we go. Pawn going to throw out three items. Let's go. All right, more items. Let's go. Pawn working on the RNGesus over here. Nice. 2S into overhead. Super jump up. Jump down. He's gonna get the trumpet though. Oh, maybe not. Maybe so. He's gonna fall into it. 
Okay, explosion incoming. Right now, Pog playing this matchup really well right now. Huge counter hit. Run up proximity grab. RC, I'm assuming. No RC. No, wake up gold burst. I forgot. I forgot your gold burst was stone. Bro, that hit in the air? Nah. <laughs> nah, bro. Probably. <laughs> Good burst. I'm surprised that wasn't baited, actually. Okay, run up. 2K. Still winnable for Pot right now. Both of these guys playing El Fuzis. Pot can somewhat stay in the air. Simi indefinitely. Oh, nice. oh, and the chip out. Mm. And here and I thought we were coming oh, in here. I was just like, okay, Stone is gonna play Nago. That's for certain. And then I we thought see you were gonna play like Nago a million, bro. Like, um, I, I mean, figured out I, the Nago matchup now. <laughs> I figured out the Nago matchup. You know, I haven't figured out the I haven't figured out the Gold Lewis matchup yet, bro. Yeah, I, I hear it's pretty rare. Oh, oh my god, bro. <laughs> Toxic. All right, we got God RNG over here. Pawn picks up the items, throws out another one, and there's Afro for the Taken. He's going to throw out another Afro just in case you forgot the first one. All right, very nice. 5H, and you jump in again. Oh, nice punish. All right, Pont right now playing El Foots. He's trying to play this keep away game. He knows he has to keep him out. Bruh. <laughs> nice goal. Yo, Stone, the king of goal burst. This could be a punish. No, he's going to RC it. And both of these guys RC. And Pont ends up losing that whole situation. Okay, nice punish. Into knockdown. Into purple combo, bro. Off the guard break. Yeah, because guard break is definitely not broke, right? Guard break is like, uh, you know, it's not a good mechanic, right? As, as so many people in my Discord have said that it's not that big of a deal, you know? Oh, nice 6P. Pawn just playing straight up keep away right now. Pawn's like, oh, nice overhead, but the homies. It's always the homies in this matchup. Okay, I like the neutral that Pawn's playing right now. Pawn's good blocks. A nice anti-air. Let's go. Guessing the mix-up correctly. Ooh, huge counter hit. No throw because he jumped. Stone with the excellent re, uh, excellent mix-ups. He did get wall splatted, but got unwall splatted by the homies. Dodges the burst. Gives him some health. No, he was almost about to die. Oh, but the overhead and pawn is going to go up around. And why is pot bottom three in your tier list? Because pot, because Potemkin needs Garuda. Gold Lewis doesn't need like, Man. Gold Lewis has like so many tools, you know? Like pot has, like pot is literally just Gold Lewis with one behemoth typhoon only, you know? Like, like, that's pretty much it. Like, imagine if Patipkin had, like, eight. Eight different Garudas. <laughs> you know? Oh, my God. He got hit again. Air throw. Oh, jump dust instead. Pont deciding to beat air button with air button. Nice trade. 2K again. And Pont looking like he has the whole read on this matchup. Oh, and that's going to be game regardless. He's going to get hit by it if he keeps swinging, and he does. Am I playing? I just played. But I'm going to run that back with Stone, though, because I want more Gold Lewis matchup knowledge anyway. Hmm. People in my Discord said that nobody respects false items. It's almost like I told people to do exactly what Pawn is doing right now. I said, knock them full screen, throw three to five items. They said, no, that's not possible. You can never do that. Nice teleport throw. That's also 
I feel like one of the better mix-ups in this game, in my opinion. Because he can do a lot of stuff off of that PRC. All right. Huge mix-up opportunity for Pawn. He is going to burst out, but FGC Stone not going down without a fight. Committed to playing hard neutral right now. Stone is committed to working his way in slowly, but surely. All right, PRC, and he's in there, boys. Imagine playing neutral. Imagine. <laughs> okay. Nice jump in. Another huge counter hit. Conoron does have meter, though. Oh, big counter hit into the overhead. Guard break again into a nice little frame trap that he has to hold and we're in the same situation as last round both of these guys playing full screen neutral but excellent super jump by pot to dodge the machine gun and a huge walk up 6p again pot just playing excellent neutral right now and the gold burst stone trying to force the situation and that's gonna be a punish am i playing with my main I only ever play with my main. Yes. Kai is my main. He's the only... I only play one character at a time in fighting games usually. Nice combo. Gets the juggle as well. Into setup. Into comments, which is completely real. Gets the wall splat. Into the wall break. Let's go. All right. Plus frame moves. Okay. We take those trades. We take those trades. And that's... <laughs> Game two to two. Okay, Pawn. Pawn, I thought you didn't even play this game, bro. What the fuck? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Pawn doesn't even play this game, bro. What's going on? <laughs> don't say that because then will ask me, hey, Pawn, would you like to play Plus Plus Art? And that's when I would be in trouble. <laughs> nice burst immediately at the start of the round. The Nippon burst as I like to call it. For those who don't know, the Japanese like the burst early so that they get, you know, at least two bursts in one round, depending on if they can make the round, you know, go down. Let's go. Ooh, that was actually sick. Let's go. All right, Stone is in a bad situation here. Pawn is playing really well. Run up. Stone did respect that run up. Oh, but the 6H. <clears throat> Good thing Pawn played my gold Lewis before. Ah, oh, that's it. You trained. You trained on yeah. Punisher. <laughs> yeah, trained yesterday with Punisher. Ooh, but then gold burst. Pawn right now playing excellent footsies. Making sure that Stone cannot get too close. But that Behemoth Typhoon is going to do his job in, make, in creating space. Oh, and the overhead snipes the backdash. Mix up, guard crush mix ups. Good burst by Pawn. He had to do it. Meaty proximity grab. Let's go. Meter. We take those trades. Oh, he just throws an item out, bro. Pawn just casually tosses an item out. Nice jump in. Right there, and that's gonna be another round for Pont. Three to two. Super duper close. That was a scary go Lewis. Stop. <laughs> yeah, your goal Lewis is scary. Yeah. I wanna do one more with you. Not for score or for anything, just for the just yeah. for the training. You know? If you're if you're up for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got time. Awesome. Alright, yeah, let's do one more. J just for the yo, bro. Bro. You just yoink player one, bro. <laughs> Oh, Stone is a player one yoinker, bro. Imagine. <laughs> Who would have thought? Oh, well. All right, we'll give it up for Ponderotten. Last I week, I won the FGC podcast. This week, Ponderotten wins it. Let's go. The commentators are getting good out here. Let's you go. Know it. Radio! We go here right now with Stone on the left side and Justin on the right side. After the small freezing for me, we see that it's catching up completely. Good amount of footsies going on right now. Both of these players keeping themselves in medium distance from each other rather than being too close or too far right now. 
Run up close slash with a lot of damage right now. Stone getting a whole lot of damage in right now just from the chipping alone. Gold burst, perfect. Let's see what he can do with that sort of tension meter. He's Fuck got me, more right bro. Good punish <laughs> with the coughing DP. I saw it too. I saw it stoned. I was like, fucking shit, bro. Let's see how this will go right now. Jump back right now, stoned. Keeping a bit more of a defensive stance right now. But gets fight very good amount of pressure. Well done with the minigun save that Jesse could not get out of it in time. Good over air to air combination there. See how this would go. Cross counter for both of these players right now. Stone keeping a lot of pressure going in there and applying a whole lot of sheer damage in this type of behemoth typhoon. Bam! into the next match we see here with that. Justin keeps on with a very more aggressive approach right now. Stone does do a very good amount of punishes towards in return. Getting him into that corner right now. This might be a very tough situation right now. However, he does get some breathing space right now, but that doesn't stop Stone right now from keeping on with the hunt. Good burst. Good jump over and punish as well on the Sacred Edge. Oh, and the bomb takes it. But as we see more, Justice learning more and more on how to do very good with his matchup. And we can tell that he's really applying it right now to his matchup completely. So Stone might be running out of tricks eventually. Good punish right now from Justin, keeping good pressure into the corner right now on Stone. Getting a wall break in return with positive tension. Good attempt of a cross up right there from Stone. Keeping on with the pressure right now with the Behemoth Typhoons. Giving very little new time to get some space. And now it seems like he's very close, completely. Stone taking another match. Getting ourselves into the third match we're going in here. We'll see how well right now because we do see Justin getting some perfect punishes all the time. First gets really at the worst kind of type situation right now. The stone is just going at it completely. Wake up deep root from Justin as he tries to get some green space. As he keeps on trying to get more pressure. Typhoon going in there. Good air to anti air right there from Justin. Trying to get some breathing space and keep on with the pressure on his own. Very bad surprise. Up! Oh. Rob Stone. <laughs> Hear that in the back. Just is giggling or he's actually crying. I don't know what exactly could. Very good punish. Very good meeting. Good surprises going in there. Very a good amount of damage right now into that corner, but sadly no wall break. Good, good burst right there to get some green space, but that doesn't stop Justin. He might have been looking for that burst. Oh, this might hurt. <laughs> and that. This character's dumb, bro. <laughs> this character's so dumb. This character's so dumb, bro. Dude, you, you didn't do any yeah. delay string. That's why I keep getting you with super. Yeah. I mean, I can't, I can't really do anything else because Kai can't. Like, I have to do delay shit to try to open. No, you no, up, but you but... gotta, you gotta bait me out, make me, make me regret doing it. You know. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of not the issue. The issue is like I, I'm trying to get in, right? Yeah. And it's like when I, when I am getting in, you already have meter, so it's like I can't really do any of like my normal game plan shit. You know. It's yeah, like, I got. He, it's like Gold Lewis just fucking takes the game plan and just throws it out the window. It's like, I can't really play neutral against them because then I'm just letting you in. But I can't, like, try to keep you out the whole game because then I'm I'm not doing any damage, right? So, I don't know. It's just... 
it's weird, bro. And you're just swinging all over the place. So it's kind of like, yeah. Then, then if I try to bait, you're just gonna keep swinging, and and you're not gonna like do anything. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, hard. it's hard. Yeah, the first couple games I was trying to bait. I was literally like just standing there, like waiting for you to do something. You just kept swinging, and I was just like, all right. Well, if I don't do anything, I can't really stop them from doing that. It's kind of yeah. like. Anyway, it's fucking dumb. That's, that's and that <laughs> should conclude this amazing awesome interview thank you very much for listening everyone thank you stone for joining us we appreciate it a whole lot friends for answering our questions and taking a few sets in guild of gears drive thank you yeah, for, thank watching you me, stone. for having me on it's always fun always fun to, to hang out and chill it's it's a little hard for me to get in sometimes because you know you guys are uh in like a different time zone than me but it's always cool to, to get in every once in a while all right well you you're gonna be in with the first attends eventually so you know when we yeah, uh sure. when we do that you know we'll definitely be streaming those and it's gonna be super hype so there you go anyway make sure you guys go follow stone his twitter is right there kid masters x on on twitter uh he also streams under fgc stone so go follow him everywhere all the people who are gonna watch this on youtube hundreds thousands of people you know hit your boy up he's great i'll add him you know, go get washed by him <laughs> and raked. There you go. Anyway, I'm going to call it there. Uh, I do believe Jake is still streaming, so I'll probably go host him. Um, let me check. You guys say by the stone for me.